Hello, NBC. <coughs> this is Munich College. Next Jordan is your speaker. I'm speaking to you this morning. Uh, there's only 12.30 o'clock noon here at this moment from the airport of the city of Munich. Our listeners know this city, I'm sure. The capital of Bavaria, the center of German art, and lest you forget the paradise of all beer lovers. But today, Munich is more than all that. Overnight, the eyes of the world were fixed on this city, which has been chosen as the meeting place of the heads of state of Great Britain, France, Italy, and Germany. I should correct myself at this time for, except for Chancellor Hitler, the other three members of the party that has joined up here today are not heads of state, but four ministers of their government. In effect, however, it's almost the same. And I would say, Munich has been chosen as their meeting ground. This morning, at 10.50 local time, Chancellor Hitler's special train pulled into the main station here. I was standing right in front of the pilot coach where Hitler had traveled with Mussolini. The Fuhrer had gone down to the border last night to meet the Duke personally, and obviously had engaged in preliminary conversations with him. Both Hitler and Mussolini stepped from the train smiling. Mussolini looked tanned and vigorous. Hitler was a pale, and very during the Russian premier had met first statesmen and led them to the exit of the station. Hitler then drove with his Italian guest to a town channel. The Italian foreign minister was with his father-in-law. Hitler and Mussolini drove down the main streets of Munich to the French town terrace where the Italian delegation would be accommodated during their stay here. About an hour after Mussolini had arrived, Premier Gallagher's plane landed from France on the airport here and Prime Minister Chamberlain's message came down on German territory only about 20 minutes later. <clears throat> First, these statesmen were received by Baron von Ribbentrop and immediately escorted to their hotels in special cars, the streets lined with cheering crowds and the a sea of flags, among them quite a few Union Jacks and French scholars. <clears throat> There is not much known at this moment about the program of the day. First later, we meet the three statesmen in the Führer House, which is the leader's palace, the headquarters of the National Socialist Party in the city, about this time. And they will have their first informal conversation, probably over a luncheon table. All of the afternoon will be taken up by further meetings which I expect it to come to a close before the day is over. I will now <coughs> conclude the first broadcast addressed to NBC listeners from the airport of Munich, where we have to take our, our cars and rush down to the studio where further reports are awaiting us. In a little while, we shall give you our second broadcast from Munich, Munich, specially arranged for NBC by the right one from Tadessa. Your speaker was much broadened, and I now return you to the National Broadcasting Company. In just a few moments, the National Broadcasting Company hopes to bring you, via retransmission from Europe, from Munich, the official communique just released of the result of the four-power conference between Prime Minister Chamberlain, Premier Daladier, Senior Mussolini, and Herr Hitler. We... We plead for your indulgence for just a few moments while we make sure of all facilities in order to take you across seas to bring you this important communique. We take you now across seas. Hello, NBC. This is Max Jordan calling from Munich, Germany. Mm -hmm. It is now 8 minutes to 2 o'clock a.m. local time. Exactly 17 minutes ago, Premier Chamberlain of England, Premier Daladay of France, and, his, and their delegations walked out <coughs> of the assembly room at the first palace here. 
thus concluding the big four power meeting. Benito Mussolini, the Duce of Italy, followed them shortly afterwards to catch his special train for Italy. The big four conference of Munich has come to a formal close. And I'm very pleased to be able to read to NBC listeners now the official text of the agreement reached today between Germany, the United Kingdom, France, and Italy. It is dated September 29, 1938, <clears throat> and reads as follows. Germany, the United Kingdom, France, and Italy, taking into consideration the agreement which has been already reached in principle for the cession to Germany of the Sudeten German territory, have agreed on the following terms and conditions governing the said session and the measures consequent thereon. And by this agreement, they each hold themselves responsible for the steps necessary to secure its fulfillment. Dated Munich, 29th of September, 1938. <clears throat> this concludes the reading of the official text of the protocol signed tonight by Chancellor Hitler, the Duchy of Italy Benito Mussolini, Premier Chamberlain of England, and Premier Daladier of France. As our listeners will have heard, the terms of this agreement fully confirm previous NBC reports on its content. A little later tonight, we shall repeat a full reading of this document, which formally concludes the meeting of the Big Four here today. Your speaker was Max Jordan, who now returns you to the National Broadcasting Company. And the